Hi, you guys. I am the Runway Travelista, you guys, and we are back with another great topic, you guys. We are back with part three, you guys, of the benefit of peace and the role it plays in overall total wellness and well-being, okay? So we're going to get right down to it, you guys. So now we're at part five. It says physical health and peace. And we talked about that. A lot of this, you guys, it, it falls in line with our physical, okay? So anything Thing that we're dealing with mental always come back to the physical as well and that's why i talked about that mind body spirit connection is so important okay and and and, and knowing that those stressors and things that we have they they start in the mind but then they start to ail us physically okay if we don't you know if we don't tap in and and get a harness on it okay it says our mental state is is strength is uh, intris intrinsically tied to our physical well-being Choosing peace can have a profound impact on physical health by promoting better sleep. We sleep better, okay? Have you ever thought about that? When, you're, when your mind is at rest and your mind is at peace, you don't have that uh, anxiety and uh, those thoughts in, uh, in your mind and you can have a peaceful, more restful sleep, okay? That's big because we know that getting enough sleep and enough rest, we got that in another topic that we talked about, is crucial to overall total wellness and well-being because it, it helps us our uh, on our come uh, our our mind to um to be able to function properly okay and for us to be able to have clarity okay and it says um it, it reduces our blood pressure improving heart health okay when the body is relaxed uh, our nervous system works better, okay? It says over time, maintaining a peaceful lifestyle leads to a stronger immune system and a longer, healthier life. And we talked about that. When we have stress and when we're we not at peace, what does that do, okay? That, in turn, affects our immune system, and that breakdown causes us the sickness and the ailments, okay? It says, uh, number six, building harmonious relationships. Choosing peace also helps cultivate harmonious relationships, okay? That can be, we talked about in our marriage, with our kids, okay? With our coworkers, with, outs, um, with um, our collaborations, okay? It just, when we're at peace, okay, we can have better rela relationships with other people, okay? How many of us know that, okay? When you're positive, when you have these, you, you have better relationships, the healthier ones that you really want, okay? All right? It says conflicts are resolved more easily, communication becomes clearer, and compassion grows, okay? Healthy relationships are foundations to overall wellness. They provide emotional support, reduce feelings of loneliness, and contribute to a sense of belonging, when we prioritize peace in our interactions, we build stronger connections, which in turn improves emotional health. Okay, so we're going to get down to number seven. It says spiritual environmental well-being, okay? So now we're going into that spiritual part, okay? And not religion, religious, but we're talking about that spiritual, which is our core values, our morals and beliefs, okay? Peace is often linked to a sense of spiritual fulfillment, okay? It really is, okay? How many of us know when we're at peace, we're at rest, we're at one. Our, our spirit is calm. Our spirit is free. Our spirit and our mind, okay, is it's at a good place, okay? Many spiritual practices, prayer to medication, emphasize the importance of inner peace as a way to connect with something larger than ourselves. okay? This connection opt often provides a sense of purpose and contentment, which is critical to spiritual wellness. And I like to say that peace is um, a spiritual act. It's a spiritual thing for ourselves, you guys. And that's why I feel like it's even in our Bible, it's um, it, the peace, it comes up a lot in the Bible, okay? And so I know if it's coming up that much, then it's that important for us and for our total overall well-being. 
Peace also plays a role in how we interact with our environment, okay? When we are peaceful within ourselves, we tend to treat the world around us more gently, okay? We don't we 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 find healthy uh resolutions. We're not in conflict. We conflict, we're not in war. And you know what? I believe that if more of us were in peace, then we would have a world that could be peaceful. But but we seeing the result that we have on the world. When a lot of us are in chaos and turmoil and conflict, then what do we have on the in the outside and in the atmosphere? We have chaos and war and fighting, okay? All right. And and so but I I still feel even in a world of chaos and turmoil and conflict, we can still shape our own environment to have the kind of world that we want for ourselves, okay? And that in turn, when we can be our best self and be peaceful, we can go out into the world and hopefully that attracts and that we can make a world that we want, okay? Uh, and, and other people are attracted to that as well. And they want, because I feel deep down, most of us, all of us are, are pretty much the same. We, we all want some of the same things. If we get down to it, we all want peace, okay? We have war in the world, but we, we truly want peace, okay? And that's why we have stress and anxiety and different conflicts because we really want that, okay? All right? And we can have it for ourselves, okay? We, we have the tools to do it, okay? So it says, this can manifest as environmental consciousness, living more sustainably, reducing waste and respecting nature, okay? Which ultimately contributes to both personal wellness and the well-being of the planet, Okay? Number eight, this is in conclusion, peace as a choice for total well-being, okay? It's a choice, okay? We can choose it, okay? And even in the Bible, it says, choose peace, seek peace, choose it. So we can, we have the power to choose. So the choice is ours, okay? So we can choose peace or we can choose chaos, okay? We can choose turmoil, okay? It's it's only two ways, okay? So that's something that, you know, we, we have the power to do and we know that it's not outside of our being. It's within us, okay? It's not gonna fall out of the sky, okay? It's something we have on the inside of us, okay? Our God on the inside of us that we can choose that thing to come to pass for us in life and not to be fighting or fighting it, flighting it, but to actual have peace and be peace. Okay. In conclusion, choosing peace is not a passive act. Okay. It's not passive. It's not something that is just going to happen for us because what do we know? We're living in a world of chaos, conflict, fusion, uh, different stresses, different challenges, different struggles. Okay. We have to, we, we, we can't just think that it's going to passively happen and come. And that's what I talked about falling out of the sky. It, it's not going to happen that way. Okay. But an active decision that requires mindfulness and intention. The benefits of peace ripple across all areas of our well-being, from reducing stress and enhancing emotional intelligence to improving physical health and fostering deeper connections with others and in the environment, okay? When we commit to a peaceful existence, we align our lives with a state of harmony, you guys, okay? Calm and balance, and we want that, okay? We want harmony, we want calmness of mind, and we want balance, okay, in life. This in turn creates a foundation for total wellness, an integrated state of mind, body, and soul working together, okay? Because it is a mind, body, and our soul, okay? We want all of those things to work together, okay? And when it works together, it's in harmony, it's in unity, it's in unity, okay? It's in unity of spirit and unity of mind, and that's a beautiful thing, okay? We really want that, you guys. And take it from somebody who has really had to be in war and fight mode her whole life, you guys. I'm 51 and I'm telling you, that's why I'm coming before you. A lot of you young people, okay, listen, listen, because it can help you where you don't have to go through some of the things that we experienced, okay? All right. And we want that for our kid. We want that for you. And we want that, you know why? Because you're going to be raising the next generation, our grandkids and their grand, uh, your children and grandchildren and generation and generation, okay? And we want that for us, okay? 
All right, you guys, when we commit to a peaceful existence, we align our lives with the state of harmony, calm and balance. This in turn creates a foundation for total wellness and integrated state of mind, body and soul working together in the pursuit of health and happiness, you guys, by choosing peace. OK, we are not only choosing a better life for ourselves, but also contributing to a more harmonious world. And we're going to stop there, you guys. And there you have it. All right, you guys.